Hi, in this video I will show you how to configure a Zabbix server on a Linux operating system. More precisely, I will install it on a Ubuntu server. After I will install the Zabbix on the Ubuntu server, I will configure the SNMP on a PFSense machine so we can monitor that PFSense machine from Zabbix. I will show you step-by-step -step configuration and at the end of this video you will be able to configure your own Zabbix server and monitor SNMP devices. SNMP is also called Simple Network Management Protocol. Basically it is a protocol which is used to monitor network devices and not only you can monitor also servers, phones, different devices that can support SNMP. SNMP operates in a client-server architecture where you have the managed devices uh, this can be network de devices or devices that can run the SNMP agents on them. We also have the SNMP agent, which is uh, a software running on the managed device and uh, that collects device information. And SNMP manager. It is a centralized system that carries the SNMP queries from the SNMP agent that is running on the managed devices. SNMP have two key components, OEDs or Object Identifier and it is describing each piece of information that can be queried by SNMP. An OED might represent the system uptime, interface statistics, memory usage, CPU usage and so on. And we also have the management information base or MIP that defines what object identifiers are available on a device and organize them in a structured format. We have multiple SNMP versions. The first one is SNMP version 1, which is a basic version and the security is limited only to passwords. Also, we can have SNMP version 2, which adds improved performance and additional error messages, but it is also still using basic community strings for security. And heads up, the SNMP version 2 is the most used SNMP version because normally you will run SNMP in a private network. However, if you want extra security or if you want to run SNMP with authentication, encryption and uh, all the security features, you will want to use version 3. How SNMP works? Basically, the SNMP manager will send a GET request and it will query for specific data. It can query for CPU utilization, memory utilization, interface utilization and so on. Also, SNMP manager can send SET requests which uh, configures and changes the settings on the managed device. SNMP agents on the managed device can also send trap notifications which are unsolicited alerts to the SNMP manager when a specific event occurs. For example, interface go down, the CPU utilization is too high or maybe there are some errors that appear on the device, alarms and so on. Let's take a look at our network. Basically, the important part from here is that we want to monitor the PFSense device using Zabbix. And Zabbix is directly connected to the PFSense and will have a subnet address of 192.168.3.0/24, where the Zabbix will have 192.168.3.100/24. If we check the IP address, we can see that it is present here and it is statically configured using NetPlan. So our goal here is to install Zabbix on a Ubuntu machine and we are running Ubuntu 2204.4 LTS. So first of all we need to go to the Zabbix website and go to the download section. We want to use 
latest version of Zabbix, which is 7.0 LTS. We want to use it on Ubuntu and the Ubuntu version is 22.04. We want to install the server, frontend and agent. We want to use the MySQL database and Apache web server. First thing first, first thing first, we'll follow this documentation to install Zabbix. So let's begin. First, we'll become sudo and we will use the following commands to download the necessary packages. We'll install the package and we will update our repository. And we will also install the Zabbix components. So now that we have installed the Zabbix services, we can go ahead to the next step and create initial database. And as you can see, we'll have this error here. So there is a step which is not added here. And the step is that we'll have to manually install the MySQL database. For that, use apt install mysql server and it is written mysql dash server. Okay, now we can issue the command. Add a password here. It can be any password, just uh, remember it. After that, we can copy paste and just be sure to modify this password here with your actual password. So, in my case, I used Ubuntu. Then continue copying the lines. Okay. After doing that, just copy the following line and paste it. And also add your password that you have created in the previous step. This operation will take a while so you will have to, to wait till it finished. If you cancel it, you'll have to start over because the installation will fail. Okay, that now the command succeeded. We'll have to log in again to the MySQL. And we'll copy this line and quit. The next step is to modify the Zabbix server configuration with the password that we have used before. So we'll search here db password and we will uncomment this line and add our password. After that, we'll have to restart the Zabbix server and 
Zabbix agent and also the web server. After we did that, we'll just go to our management machine. And we will enter the address of configured on the Ubuntu server interface with slash Zabbix. And we will be greeted with the Zabbix setup page. Hit next step. Next. Add your password here. We'll add the name for our Zabbix server. And hit finish. Now the default password for this is admin and the password Zabbix. And we are logged in in our Zabbix management page. As I mentioned, we want to monitor our PFSense device. So for that, we'll go to management machine, we'll go to the PFSense, to the services, and to SNMP. We will enable the SNMP daemon. You can also add different information here, system location, system contact, and most important, the community string. We will modify the community string to be Zabbix. And we will also enable SNMP trap. And for the trap server, we will add our uh, Zabbix IP address. 192.168.3.100 And for SNMP trap string, we will also use Zabbix. And we will use all interfaces here. This option defines which interface should be used uh, to receive uh, SNMP requests. Now, let's go to monitoring, hosts. Scroll on the side here. And we'll create a new host. Host name will be pfSense. We will select a template and in Zabbix you will have multiple templates uh, defined for uh, different types of uh, devices. If we will check the templates, we should find the template for PFSense and for Cisco, for Juniper, a lot of other vendors. We will create a host group and we will call this host group firewall and it would be a new group. This is just done for filtering firewalls for example. You can create a host group for routers and just can filter routers with it. Next we'll have the interfaces and as you can see in Zabbix we can use different options. We can use Zabbix agent, we can use SNMP, JMX or IPMI. In our case, we will use SNMP. Let's add the address of the PFSense and we will add the Zabbix uh, interface is 192.168.3.254. Ports will be the same. The version of the SNMP will be version 2 and the community will be Zabbix. Click Add and allow it some time to refresh. When this icon here will turn green, it means that the Zabbix successfully connected to the PFSense and now it can query for data. So let's go to our topology here and start a capture. We want to filter by SNMP. 
and as you can already see I see some SNMP trap already if you go to Zabbix I said that we use that template for PFSense but if you go to but if you go to data collection and templates we can see a template for different type of uh, devices we have for even for mac os linux microtik juniper cisco whatever you want and if you cannot find it here you will definitely find it in someone's gitlab repository so let's go to monitoring to host and here we can see the latest data which was uh, gathered by uh, Zabbix from the PFSense. And we have different stats here and um, it's important to mention also that the information that you see here is used from the template and the template will provide those OIDs that Zabbix will use to interrogate PFSense for data. Let's check again the packet capture and we can see the GET request and the responses from, uh, from PFSense. If we'll go here, for example, and we'll delete this link, so simulate the link down and uh, check the capture, we should be able to see somewhere a SNMP trap for that. Let's connect the link back. And just go back to Wireshark. And as you can see, we have a SNMP trap for link down and one for link up. If we go to hosts, those are the basics on how to configure SNMP and how to work with Zabbix. So this is how you configure Zabbix server on your Ubuntu server or virtual machine. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you have learned something new. And if you are interested to learn more and explore more the world of the PFSense, I invite you to check out my course in the video description, because there are plenty more to be learned and uh, networking and PFSense in general is a pretty big subject. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.